What's up, Popper people? Brent Cook, and today we are playing Mogwarts, the Goblin combo deck here in the format. And the idea behind this deck is that you're looking to combine Putrid Goblin, which has Persist, alongside First Day of Class, which what it says whenever a creature would enter the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So when your creature has a negative minus one, minus one counter and a plus one, plus one counter, they negate each other. So this will set the creature back to normal. And when that happens, the putrid goblin, if it were to die again, would come back, which means that if you play sacrifice outlets, such as Skirk Prospector, you can make infinite red mana because it will always come back over and over and over again. Well, what can you do with infinite red mana? Well, if you have infinite red mana and a creature that never dies, makeshift munitions, whoops. Uh, pretty good card because it can deal infinite damage on Q. Uh, you just have to click a whole bunch. So you have that going on. You also have Flame Wake Invoker, which is a similar effect that you can tutor for with your Goblin Matron, which is pretty cool. That is the core of this strategy. If you look at the rest of the deck, it's sort of just cards that help you with that. So we have a bunch of card draw between Chromatic Star, Icar Wellspring, Deadly Dispute, Reckless Impulse, Faithless Looting, and then ways to recur like unearth so this is how this deck functions i am not a deck expert this is probably my third or fourth time playing it on magic online maybe a few times more than that actually but i haven't played it in months if the, and that is completely true i do own the deck in paper and i've goldfished it a lot i played it in a few popper local events but i'm still not a deck expert i'm just someone that plays this deck casually i think it's a blast so in my list, I do not play the Pyromantics. I honestly don't know what it's for. Maybe I'll find out in this video today, but I'm not quite sure. Everything else makes sense to me. Uh, Cyborging is admittedly a weakness of my uh, play with this deck, so I'll sort of be figuring things out while I sideboard, but hopefully it won't be too impactful. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoy it. Goblin combo forever. Too bad we don't have Empty the Horns here in this format, but that's a conversation for another time. I'll see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to match number one. Let's Mogwarts it up. And here we have the combo of Deadly Dispute plus Chrome Star as Ancestral Recall. I'm going to keep this because of that and just play the turn one chrome star. Pass the turn. Mountain. Okay. Another copy of Deadly Dispute. I'm just going to pass here. What are you playing? They didn't have a turn one burn spell, which tells me that they're not likely burn. Are you Gruel Storm? 
All right, let's auto yield here. All right, Prospector was good. We did not hit the um, the Putrid Goblin or the first day of class. So here, I think we play Chrome Star and pass the turn. We're almost to the point where we can combo. We just need the other two pieces. So maybe not almost wasn't the appropriate word. This is looking a lot like Gruel Storm. Oh my, it totally is. We're facing Gruel Storm. Okay. Just sent our opponent a, a cute little message just telling them that I like their deck. We're going to Ancestral Recall here again. There's first day of class. We just need the Goblin now. Draw. Um, can Reckless Impulse do it here? I'm not sure. I guess we have six mana. It probably can. Let's Impulse. Ah, uh, we did not hit. I wonder if... Uh, they're probably not going to kill me, but we could definitely be in better shape here. I didn't think of... Like, I made a misplay there because I lost out on playing an artifact land. That said, it's not going to matter. So we're just going to pass uh, and then hope that we don't die. Well, we're not going to die. Or at least I don't think so. Manamorphose. Yep. Desperate Ritual. Morphos. Yep. I actually just yesterday recorded Jund Storm. I, I would guess by the time that this video is live, you would have seen Jund Storm already. So definitely go check out that video. But yeah, you could also check out my Gruel Storm video that I uploaded when this goes live probably three weeks ago. Uh, this deck is awesome. There's the Goblin and Relay. All right, we, we need to find Putrid Goblin. I think that does it. Okay, let's play the Furnace. Play the Goblin. Oh, uh, I, I guess I still have Black Mana. Yes, we have the treasures over there. We'll get the Putrid Goblin. And let's sacrifice the Matron. Uh, first day of class, it doesn't really matter. We'll get Introduction. And let's draw a card off this. Let's filter. Sure. And Putrid Goblin. So now we have infinite red mana. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice this. We'll auto yield to that so it just always comes back. Okay, we're going to do this a whole bunch. We don't have a deterministic win yet, uh, but we can cast this introduction of prophecy now. Another Icar Wall Spring. I think we just put that on the bottom. Um, Is it better in play? I guess it is. I mean, I have to click more, but it's theoretically to ha better to have an extra artifact. Okay, just keep on sacrificing. Let's play the Wellspring. Draw. Ooh. Let's play this Wellspring. Okay, Chrome Star's not bad. Uh, sacrifice this. Keep going. All right. Ooh, I can say, oh, I have the win. I just realized. I am so dumb. Okay, I just realized it. We're going to add a black. We're going to unearth the matron. Okay. Sorry, I just realized that we had the win. Okay, uh, and we got it. So there, from here, you go get the Flame Wake Invoker, and then you have infinite damage. I don't know why it didn't occur to me earlier, uh, but yeah, we got lucky. I had it the whole time. I'm just a dummy. Like I said, I don't play this deck that often, but we got to accomplish the combo in the very first game, which is always very sweet. Uh, so Niles Ball Bomb isn't very good against this deck. It does make their Rite of Flame slightly worse, but that's about it. So we're going to board out the Spell Bomb here. You can maybe board in a Braid because... It can kill uh, their cost reducer. That said, I don't know if I love that. I think maybe we just want dress number three and then they call it a day. This deck is definitely up my alley, by the way. Like, I love this deck. 
Sure. Conan Mulligan's to five. All right, Tyrone Highland Forest. Because I'm going to be curving out here, I'm going to lead on the Duras because turn two, turn three. All right, we'll take the Reckless Impulse and pass the turn. There they have the Mountain, and they're probably going to play Kessig for the Firebrand. That's fine. Draw. Okay, so now we are a first day of class away from winning this game. And there's the Flame Breather. They should attack here, um, because like there's no chance this deck blocks with the Putrid Goblin. Okay, draw. Unearth. So that makes playing this Matron pretty free. The question is, what would we actually get with it? Um, another Matron? Like, just the Thin? Yes. I think we just grab another matron. Pass the turn. Land grant. I take two going to 18. Yep. Okay. Draw. Still a first day of class away. All right. So we're going to play matron. Just thinning our deck out, trying to increase our odds a little bit. Pass the turn. We could also get to the point soon where we start cycling this unearth because why not? Another putrid goblin. I think I'm gonna cycle. All right, we did not hit. Uh, we'll play prospector, and then the goblin. Can I get a first day of class? Manamorphose, we go to 16. And the Goblin. So I think I should start holding these lands in case we draw Faithless Looting. Well, we're going to play that one because it replaces itself, but... Jeez. Um, a lot of lands right now. Yes. Let's go get that last uh, Goblin Matron. Honestly, uh, should I just go get the Flame Wake Invoker? I think so. Kind of crazy that's where we're at, but I think it's the right play. Um, I don't think I should attack. It's not worth it. All right, they have two cards. Draw. There we go. First day of class. We just have the one already. All right, so we'll... And our opponent concedes. Sweet. 1-0 with Mogwarts defeating Gruel Storm. Once again, definitely go check out that video. It's going to be awesome. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. It's match number two, and we've opened up a pretty good hand. We're definitely going to keep this. We're on the draw, unfortunately. That said, all we really need to find here is just the Skirk Prospector for an easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy win. All right, Mono Blue Fairy, sort of a tough matchup, uh, from what I remember, at least, from playing this deck. Deadly Dispute. All right. And they're going to get in there. Turn to Ninja, classic. Draw. There's the Prospector. I'm going to just play the goblin here. So we have a turn three if our opponent silly and taps out. Land number three. They're going to get in. I am not going to block. So they can draw their card. Um, us winning on turn three requires them 
requires the goblin to be in play, so I can't afford to just throw it away. So one uh, perk here is if I draw an untapped land, we can win through Counterspell. And really, they're going to disrespect me like that, huh? Okay, so we're going to go for it. I guess they could have a Spell Pierce up, but geez louise. can't believe they did that. I'm going to tap that island. Ooh, baby. We've got it. Turn three win. Draw. We didn't even need that mountain, but I'll take it. Welcome to Mogwarts. Okay. We're going to auto yield here. Auto yield this. Okay. So we've got this. Super easy. Take this, fairies. Show them the flame wake. <laughs> woot woot. Uh, my opponent's going to make me go through it. All right. I mean, you can't be upset. Like, you signed up for this. Uh, that's one of those things where uh, really, like, you chose to play this deck that clicks a lot. You can't get upset when people make you click through. Fortunately, our opponent didn't do it, but I've always had that opinion. No one, you, no one is entitled to wins, and you don't deserve concessions. So if you sign up for a deck like Bomberman or Food Chain or Mogwarts, you got to go through it. And here, the spell bomb is going to get sided out. We don't really want that. We do want these pyroblasts, though. Uh, and from what, I, from what I remember, uh, pyromantics is good here. So is the sparksmith. Um. I don't know if you want to braid they do have they play one relic so i'm not super sure about that and we have six cards that need to come out from what i remember is against all blue decks you just board out faithless looting because it's not great um and i was told that you should board out some number of unearth the problem with that is if they counter spell your putrid goblin it becomes really difficult to win so i've never loved that strategy personally and you could board in duress but I found that dress isn't really reliable against uh, fairies personally. So let's sort this by converted mana cost. Uh, I've always felt really dumb playing Icar Wellspring in the matchup, if I'm being honest, because it's just like a do nothing versus their tempo deck. But it does enable deadly dispute, so maybe I'm in the wrong. Makeshift Munitions is very good in the matchup. So, if, I mean, that's one way that you can win it, I suppose. Um. Let's shave two on Earth, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong. We can board out like one Icker Wellspring and then we need two more slots. Hmm. Maybe we brought out another Wellspring. We just don't board in dress number three versus them. Let's try this out. They definitely went to school in that first game. This seems fine. Keep. Sparksmith is pretty good against them. Okay, so I think on turn two, we might try to resolve this makeshift munitions. It dies to Pyroblast, but it is just very, very good in the matchup. Converting Icar Wellspring into just like hard removal, that sort of thing. Also might want to consider just playing the Sparksmith. Okay. They did not shuffle off Ponder. I think it's just Sparksmith. We need to slow them down, and we're getting out-tempoed at the moment. So I would expect that if these... Uh, that the, these Delivers should flip because... Oh, they flip Blue Blast! Ooh. So they're going to kill my Sparksmith here. Um, because they kept off Ponder, so like if they didn't flip, you should be shocked. So we're going to take six here, going to 13. Spiritane, you got it. Two on the bottom. Okay, Putrid Goblin. Let's play it. Try to counter the Blue Blast, because then it would allow us to kill the Delvers. Is this going to resolve? Oh, another Blue Blast. Punished. 
All right, they're down to two cards. So I think my way of winning this game is just ripping first day of class. They did not shuffle off Ponder. Fairy, they have one card in hand. Unfortunately, I don't have a blocker. Oh my, we ripped it. Um, This is a win if their card in hand does nothing. Okay, so we sacrifice this, that trigger on the stack first day of class. They have it. Ugh. Triple red blast. Damn. All right, they got me. We almost won, though. That was impressive. That was like a very good draw out of our opponent, though. Um, I just feel like these Icar Wellsprings are way too clunky. Like, they're just so fast. I'm going to bring the cast down. Like, I just don't think that's what the matchup is. Like, if we get to the point where we're using munitions over and over, we're in a good spot. But in the meantime, these Icar Wellsprings just, they're so, so expensive and they don't impact the board. All right, we get to be on the play for the third game, though. Sure. Seems like a reasonable hand of Magic the Gathering cards. Bridge Pass. Island Delver. All right, we're a first day of class away from winning this game on turn three. Delver does not flip. Ponder. And pass from our opponent. Draw. Invoker. I think I'm just going to play the Matron here. And let's get Sparksmith. Get in there. So it flipped, revealing Preordain. And they cast it. And another preordain, okay. One on top, one on the bottom with that preordain for what it's worth. Draw. Let's get in there. Ooh. And let's play the Sparksmith. All right, I think we just pass. If they countered, I was going to Deadly Dispute, but they didn't, so. We go to 14. Very Miscreant, sure. Draw. Another land is kind of brutal. Let's attack. Because if they block here, I take one less damage when I activate the Sparksmith. All right, let's attempt to kill the Delver, or the Insectile Aberration. I could try to play the Flame Leak here. But then that means if I activate the Sparksmith again, I just take a bunch of damage. I don't know. Five lands. That's the Spire Golem. So I'm going to take one going to ten. Oh. Snap. Sure. I thought about dis Deadly Disputing in response, but I'm not sure if that's actually the correct play. And let's Deadly Dispute this Matron away. Dispel. I have two cards. I just have a feeling that they have Spell Stutter. All right, let's fight. You. And there's the spell stutter. Play out the swamp so we don't lose to uh, Force Spike and then Sparksmith. We're in a dangerous spot because if I try to kill the Spire Golem, I'm going to deal myself four and they're about to attack for four. I can't block. All right, draw, bridge, ugh. All right, let's attack for five. So this is going to put them down to seven. 
prospector. So the the big game plan here is to try to uh, activate this flame wake. All right. Right now we have seven lands in place. So we'll have to sacrifice one goblin to the flame wake invoker. Did not think this league that I would be attacking with a sparksmith. So if our opponent just doesn't attack, I don't think I can kill them uh, because I can deal them five with the invoker. So they're going to put me to four here. If they have another blocker, it's the same thing where I don't think I can actually kill them. Yeah, um, because I can get in for one damage and then flame wake them, but then I'm one short. Yeah, that didn't do anything. I think I just lost. Um, so I'd have to swing out. They would take one. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. I'm one damage short. They just block the two twos. And then a one one, they take one. I activate, they go to one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's a way that wins this. Yeah. Uh, hope that our opponent messes up. I guess that's my best option here. And attack. They saw the line. Okay, so one damage is getting in. I can activate this, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a bummer. All right, 1-1, one, one, not the end of the world. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, 4 treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number three, we're on the draw. We're going to keep this hand. This is a pretty solid hand, in my opinion. Okay. I think we lead on duress. And you are, in fact, infinity. Um, well, we're going to take that pented prism, or prophetic prism. I don't think that's even a keep. But what do I know? Okay, play the Carnarium, pick up the Swamp, and pass the turn. Yikes. Draw. I'm going to Deadly Dispute, Sack the Star. We're going to draw a bunch of cards here. Sacrifice Star. Come on, just let me cast it. Oh, I have to pay the red mana, is that it? Okay, there we go. Casting spells is very difficult. Right, deadly dispute. Ooh, we have the whole combo now. Uh, we can't do it until next turn, but uh, we do have it. Let's play the goblin now. Hype. Ooh, that's a mirror enforcer. That is true. All right, so first day of class. Looks like an F6 to me. Prospector? All right, let's sacrifice this. Uh-oh. Show them the flame wake? <laughs> we just always have flame wake in hand. 
Sweet. Get out of your affinity. So we're definitely bringing in Max Monkey, a.k.a. Gorilla Shaman. I'm sorry that I have the MH2 ones. The original ones from Alliances were like four, four or five tickets each, and I wasn't going to pay that. So these were 13 cents or 0.13 tickets. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think we want Shaman. This is probably a Mass Vandal matchup. Honestly, I'm not quite sure why you want this like it says artifact or enchantment so you board in it against the artifact deck i think uh but you can only cast it off chrome stars i'm not sure i'm just not sure uh braid i guess you want cast down for a tog and four cards coming out is this another matchup where Urker wellspring is just too slow probably uh Feel free to hate me because I don't know the answer. So we're just going to do this. It's worth noting it's not just Chromatic Star that casts the Mass Vandal. Uh, Deadly Dispute makes a treasure token which can sacrifice for green mana. So we have that going on. This seems pretty reasonable to me. We're going to try this. Uh, we're a black mana source and a first day of class away. Draw. There's our Vandal. Let's play the Prospector. You could argue that maybe I'm supposed to loot on turn one. I'm not sure. And there's Prism. Draw. Let's loot. All right, we're going to get rid of the Vandal and a Duress. And then cast the Duress. Spell Pierce, Gav Blast, Blood Fountain. Ooh, that Shaman's annoying. Um, create the Gav Blast. Get in there. If I had to guess, they're probably going to play um the Shaman here, but who knows? There it is. Okay, so I think we might want to use this as an opportunity to uh play looting. We don't want to play off the Shaman now because of the Shaman. Shaman on Shaman Violence. Flashback. I just, I just don't think the Goblin Matron's that good right here. Try to get in there. Blood Fountain, yep. And Atog. I am in trouble. Yep. Play the bridge. Goblin. And Chrome Star. That's the turn. Okay, Deadly Dispute. So if I don't block, they just have lethal. So I am required to block by law. Um, so... Do that. And they cleared the board. So now we can play the Gorilla Shaman. Oh. Okay. Um, they still have Spell Pierce open. Our back is up against a wall here. And I am dead to Wedding Invitation. All right, I'll do them the same thing they did for me in game one and just concede. That hurt. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could board in another duress, but I don't think that's the correct play. Maybe Mass Vandal just isn't good enough. I don't know. Maybe I shave a makeshift munitions because that card doesn't seem that great. Let's try this. All right, game three on the play versus Affinity. Then is two of the three things we need, but we also need lands. I'm gonna try it out, but this hand could end up biting me in the butt real, real hard. When it takes a mulligan to six, and now to five, to four. 
The sad thing is, they're not out of this with how my hand is constructed. Alright, so if I had a second land, I would lead on turn one Duras. But because I don't, I think I have to play out Chrome Star. So that way on turn two, if I miss, I can cast the looting. Draw. Alright, let's add a red. Draw. Did not hit. Cast looting. And we might be out of this game. Uh, At least one matron. Probably the first day. That sucks. We're struggling here. Prism, sure. Draw. Duress. I mean, I, I would keep that hand again. Obviously, it didn't work here, but... Get rid of the Deadly Dispute. Trying to stop them from getting back into this game. Okay, draw. There we go. That's a start. So we know that they have the Gav Blast, which is something we need to consider. I think I should just try to play the Reckless Impulse here. They drew Blue Elemental Blast. Okay. Um. So they this is a different seat than the one we saw, because we Duresta on our turn two after they had played Prism. So they have Gav Blast and one unknown. And that's the one unknown. Okay. <laughs> They're drawing pretty hot. Uh, and like I said, this was their mulligan to four. And it's they're still in it, for sure. Um, all right, I'm going to destroy their lands here. Okay, and now I can remove the blood token. All right, so we kept them off mana a little bit. Now we can pass the turn. Draw. I'm going to dispute away this uh, Great Furnace. Play Goblin and pass. All right. Unearth. That might actually do it here. Get in. What's first day? They have two cards. So I guess in theory they could have some interaction. Get the introduction, player land, so that way we don't lose the spell pierce. Get back the goblin matron. All right, yield. Yes, we'll go get the skirk prospector. Yield to this. So we have, uh, assuming that our opponent doesn't do anything that hurts me, we have a few looks here. Um, because we get the three draws off this, but we also have a Faithless Looting in the Graveyard. Okay. Just making a bunch of mana. Now let's cast Introduction. And Munitions is the win. Okay, so we have the win, we just have to execute it at this point. And our opponent's nice enough to concede. So we beat Affinity. We faced some pretty good decks so far. Uh, we're three matches in. We still have two left to go, but I'm confident in our ability to crush with this deck. Mogwarts is definitely one of the better combo decks in Pauper, in my opinion. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. We're back for match number four. We're on the play, and... We have uh, the same hand we had in game three almost in the previous match where if I hit, this hand is amazing. Jeez, uh, I am so not disciplined. Because I really, really want to keep this hand. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm going to keep it. You can't tell anyone. 
I don't want to hear all these stories about how I'm bad at mulliganing and how I shouldn't win at magic because they're all true, but you don't need to tell me that. It's fine. Draw. Hey, had it 100% of the time. 150%. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Hell yeah. We're a prospector away. Sure. Draw. Uh, that goes to get prospector. So we have a turn four with protection next turn. wonder if I should just dress now. I feel like the answer is yes, actually. Uh, Prismatic Strands is sort of annoying. I don't know if we can actually beat that. Do we have a way that's... Hmm. I mean, they also might just, like, not respect me having a turn three, right? Yeah, because, like, it's so unlikely... Or, I'm sorry, a turn four. Uh, I didn't realize all their lands came into play tapped. So there's also that going on. All right, so we're going to play our Goblin, play our Prospector. Sacrifice this dummy. Sacrifice this dummy. That trigger on the stack we're going to first day. Go get Introduction. Yield. Yield. Okay. Time to make mana. Here we go. So many mana. So little time. Click, click. I'm sure there's probably an easier way of doing this, but I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not going to while trying to figure this out. All right, we have 11 for now. Let's cast the introduction. Those don't do it, so those go on the bottom. Chrome Star gets back the Matron, which wins the game. All right, draw. Oh, I have a land drop. Whoops, that means that I think I misplayed on that scry. Get back the Matron. Yes. Sweet. This deck does not have a flaring pain in the board, which is something I actually thought about before this league started, because I was like, I don't know what this Pyromatics is for. Maybe it should be flaring pain. We ended up aborting this in it against uh, the Mono Blue deck, but it never came up. Um, We could board it in Mass Vandal, I suppose, but that doesn't seem great. I think we're supposed to board out the Spell Bomb. For probably literally anything. Probably the abrade. Let's try this. So this hand is a little bit sketchy. Doesn't have first day. I think I'm just going to mulligan. We can do better. Once again, I am asking you for a Skirk Prospector. Um, I think we get rid of the looting. I mean, this hand's pretty good. Draw. London Bridges. Radiant Fountain. These decks were really popular in the era before I started playing Popper, from what, I'm, from what I understand. Um, I don't think I want to run out my Goblet against the Journey deck. I think I'm just going to play Bridge and Pass. Another Craig, sure. Draw. And another first day. I think I might try to sacrifice a bridge on their end step. They're going to... Okay, I was going to say draw a card off uh, spare supplies, but they just cycled a step instead. Skyfisher, sure. Reading Fountain or the spare supplies? The supplies. Bujukabog, no targets. Love to see it. 
Okay, so I'm going to Deadly Dispute, get rid of a bridge. And there's that Ecker Wellspring. Um, I think we're still in setup mode, so I'm just going to play a Wellspring and then the Star. All right, there's Prospector. We could, if our opponent for some reason taps out, we can punish them. I don't think that's going to be the case. Another Skyfisher, sure. And now they have three lands, and now they can play the Spare Supplies while holding up whatever removal they're keeping for this uh, Windscarred Craig, because they're definitely holding open removal. We just need to figure out uh, how to beat whatever they have. Um, I'm going to draw a card. See if I can like draw into a dress or another prospector. Does that do it? I don't think it does. Just trying to figure this out. If I play prospector, well, let's say I start on first day and I loot away this great furnace. I'd have one mana floating. I don't think I can get back up to Matron. All right, so I have a total of four, five mana. The Prospector can replace itself. Yeah, I never get back up to Matron mana, so I'm just gonna play Matron getting another copy of Prospector. All right. And pass the turn. Glen Hawk. And supplies, sure. Okay, so we'll gladly take four going to 14 here. This deck is just like, I honestly, I feel like it's a little too fair for current popper. And you can take that as a sign of like, the format shouldn't be like that. Everything should be fair all the time. Blah, blah, blah. Back in my day, we attacked. No one cares. Um, and that's just the, the honest truth. So... Or you can accept that like metagames change and this deck used to just be the best deck in the format and now it's not. And you know, that's fine too. Okay. So let's sacrifice this matron. Let's play the putrid goblin. So if they have lightning bolt here, that doesn't actually stop me. Okay. So we're going to sacrifice this. Persist trigger. Um, so we're going to sacrifice. Uh, do I actually have it if that dies? Hmm. I think I have to sacrifice it for red mana. Okay. Um, was not expecting that. That was a good play on our opponent's part. So I think I have to play introduction into um, unearth here. Another matron will not do. Although it would work for next turn. So maybe I just accept that I'm not winning right now. And pass the turn. Sure thing. Prism. Now they get to attack for six in the air or not. We'll just take four. All right. Um, let's first day of class again. Matron. Maybe this isn't even the way that I should be going about this. I'm just not sure. Sacrifice this and let's try this again. Another bolt. Ah, damn it. Getting punished here. Um sacrifice it. Okay, so I think it now I just cast the introduction. Bottom these. And pass the turn. We still have five cards. Prism, Inspector, 
Also, like, I don't know how we beat Prismatic Strands with the current situation we're in. Alright, so I'm gonna go to four here. I'm dead to Gav Blast if they have it. Draw. Wellspring. Okay, let's cast it. Don't really have a choice, let's cast another. I think I'm just dead now, but... Let's cycle this. I guess I could hit an earth. No, an earth isn't fast enough here anymore. Um, draw. Yeah, I just don't have the mana. They got me. All right, let's just go to the third game. I wonder if I'm supposed to board in the third grass. Maybe that's just like the play over this abrade. My fear is that I discard their prismatic strands and like, oh. Although it's, they played that game so well because they chose the putrid goblin over the prospector after I tutored up the prospector, which should have told them that I only had the one, but instead they went after putrid goblin and it won them the game. So, I mean, it's an interesting choice, but they read it very, very well. But we're on the play this game. Let's just see what we can do here. Sure. All right. Turn one star. Draw. I'm just going to dispute now. Draw three. And so recall. That was pretty good. Let's just find that prospector. I think Prospector is at turn three. And they're going to leave up removal. So I don't think that's the play here. For us, let's cast it. Okay, we'll take one of the gap blasts, I suppose. I think I'm going to play out the makeshift. So that way they don't go after my mana. Or at least I hope they don't go after my mana. All right, they drew the uh, the Craig for turn. Went Hawk, okay. They're still choosing to leave up the Gav Blast. And they're going to get in. We'll go to 19. Draw. Another first day. I'm going to looting. Um, I think I get rid of the... Vault and draw. All right, a little bit awkward here. They're gonna bog me, hit that looting, and they went after my red source. So I could have like sacked my treasure token to fling it, but I need the red mana, I just don't think that's a wise play. Draw. Let's sack the uh, Icar Wellspring to draw a card. Okay. Tough call here. Um, I think I'm going to kill the Glint Hawk. We hit the land. All right. So they have. Revoke Existence, Galthanic Blast, and one unknown. So Revoke. Yep. Two unknowns now. We'll take one. I'm just going to play the Icar Wellspring. Because next turn I can Deadly Dispute, assuming I don't hit a untapped mana off this. Alright, and pass the turn. Two mana. Prism, sure. They have four cards in hand at this point. Honestly, I'm just going to go get the Prospector here. I feel like we're pretty close to me able to win through their hate. Five cards at this point. In hand, that is. Alright, so we're falling to 13... 
I have to be a little bit worried about just being burned out. Okay. Draw. Another deadly dispute. I'm going to cast it. So it essentially cost me one mana this turn. And I'm just going to put the pieces into play. Actually, I'm not going to play the Prospector. Okay, they still have five cards in hand, but they can go up to six at any moment with that spare supplies. And they had a journey, so I'm getting punished for playing this out early here. That's sort of a bummer. So if I block and they have triple Gath Blast, I'm done. Or if I don't block. Uh, but if I do block, I get an extra mana next turn. I think six should probably be enough. I just don't want to die to triple Gath Blast. I would feel so foolish. Let's uh, draw three cards again. So it's only minus one. Play the matron. Yes. Go get another putrid goblin. I'm just like afraid of dying here. Like I think I will win this as long as I can prolong the game. That's what I'm trying to do. We get another prospector. Play the munitions and pass the turn. Sure, they drew a card with their spare supplies. That's fine. I think the worst card in their hand is the deadly dispute. We're going to block. They'll get to kill one matron here. Lint Hawk. Picked up Prism. Sure. Let's play Prospector. Whoops. So we don't actually need to do anything. We can just pass the turn. Because we can kill them at instant speed whenever they try to do something. So they played another copy of Prophetic Prism. I feel like I'm in the driver's seat here, but maybe I'm delirious. Uh, because like we can even beat a Prismatic Strands with double first day. So they get to attack, we go to 11. Which means that in theory, we would be dead to Gav Blast, Gav Blast, Bolt if we didn't have an instant speed win. Okay, and they're just gonna pass. Let's get in there. All right, so what should I do? I'm gonna first stay and hope that they try to Prismatic Strands. Okay, let's cast this introduction. Take the duress, cast duress. They have triple gav blast. Okay. Hmm. So they're definitely the ones in the driver's seat. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to figure out what I can possibly do here. Um, I don't know. They have three open pieces of removal. They have enough uh, burn in hand to just burn me out, but I think if I don't go for it, they get to win. Hmm. Let's sack the Putrid Goblin. Okay, and now I'm going to sack this to kill the Glint Hawk. Okay, activate this. Target the Glint Hawk. Sack the Putrid Goblin. Okay. Um, target the Glint Hawk again. So they still have 8 damage of burn in hand. That ability can resolve. Maybe we just sack a land. Pass the turn. They they should have one gav or they have two gav blasts left. So this is going to resolve. 
the trigger goes on the stack. Why are they going after a prospector? Target them. Stack this. So journey's gone, and I think they still have two gap blasts. All right, draw looting. Not a bad one. Return the putrid goblin. Found a f just under five minutes, so I should probably play a little bit quicker. Also, like terrified of dying here. Two mana. Sure. Okay. Raiding Fountain, you got it. Alright, they still have their two pieces of removal open. Theoretically, I do have a chance to win here if we somehow got another... Uh, maybe not. Uh, Let's attack for five. They still have two pieces open. I don't know if this first day does anything. I mean, I, I guess I get to go get the introduction, right? And force them to use removal. So an, uh, an unearth would actually win the game here. If, assuming that I could click fast enough in three minutes. Okay. So we're going to sack this for mana. Okay, so the goblin's gonna come back now. Uh, we can auto yield here. Now we just need, it's still just find an earth. That's all we have to do. Flame Lake Invoker doesn't do it. Let's bottom these. Uh, we can cycle here at a black. Flashback looting. Discard two lands and target them. This is just free damage. And we have to pass the turn. Just gonna have six to save some time. Prophetic Prism, sure. Poor Skyfisher. They get to pick up the journey here. They picked up a Zhuka Bog, that's interesting. All right, two minutes on the clock. Flint Hawk. What did they pick up? Spare Supply, so they have one mana open. Picker Wellspring. Ah, that sucks. Um, Sacrifice the Wellspring. Two minutes. I have a feeling we're going to time out here. I don't know why. Yes. Prospector. Pass the turn. Sure. They cycled the step. They're down to one open mana. Sure. They're at eight. They're attacking. That's brave. I go to nine. All right, I'm going to throw the matron at them. Two minutes on clock. I think we can do this. First day. No. Prospector. Um, stack this. All right, I just have to be able to win in a minute and a half. All right, can we do it? Racing the clock. Seven mana. Okay, what? What? I I think I've got it. I can do this in a minute. All right, I'm gonna play Matron. Yes, forty-five seconds. Come on, let's go. Boy, Malik. Target them. Throw the goblin. Target them. Throw the goblin. 
We did it. 21 seconds left. We did it. We're three and one. That was a nail biter, but we got there. We did it. One round left to go. Three, one. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match, we're on the play. Let's Mogwarts. And here, this is just, <laughs> this is a turn four we're going to keep. We just need to find the Putrid Goblin. If memory serves me correctly, and I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. Our opponent plays a lot of walls, but it's been a while. All right, turn one Prospector Pass. Arbor Elf, okay. Unearth. So, hypothetically, I can play the Matron right now. Go get the goblin next turn. Unearth. I think that leaves me a mana short. I just want to make sure that I'm not messing this up. So I play, go get, um, but then I get to sack the matron next turn. Actually, I think that this is the right play. We're going to sack the prospector to itself. Matron. Yes. Go get the putrid goblin. I think this does it next turn. Sure. Okay. This is sort of a wall. No covered island. Yep. Draw. All right. So step one is unearthing the prospector. Yeah, this is definitely a win. All right, and now we play the Putrid Goblin. Sacrifice the Matron. Sack the Goblin. Trigger on the stack we first day of class. Go get this. And now we persist. That was, that was a cool line. I enjoyed that. All right, so we'll quickly show our opponent that they're dead. So we've got the win. We just have to click through at this point. And that is a turn three with Mogwarts. Wooch, wooch. Two turn threes this video. Pretty sweet. All right. So once again, we're boarding up the spell bomb. Not great against walls. Honestly, I'm not sure how good Duress is either. Uh, they do play a few crucial spells, but it's honestly not that great. So we're going to bring in Cast Down for sure. I almost think the Abrade might be better than Duress, but I'm not positive. And then we have this one card. I think maybe Sparksmith? I don't know. Let's try this. Probably not going to matter, but you never know. Game two against the walls. Prospector. All we need is lands. We're on the draw. Is that a huge ask? I'm going to do it. Don't hate me. 19 land deck. I'm definitely not going to draw land two. Uh, but who knows? Utopia Sprawl is a good start. All right, let's play our land pass. And there's the vine. So now they get, go, get to, go get to base. Go get a basic. Wow, talking is difficult. Forgive me. Uh, and their caretaker. Yep. And we did not hit. But I do get to loot... Oh, and we missed on the looting. Ooh. Ugh. That was bad. I think we're dead. It's so hard for me to ship those hands, though. Like, it does everything as long as we can draw mana, which should be the easiest thing for us. So now they could tap their Mold Drifter with the Caretaker before it would leave the battlefield for an extra mana, too, which is kind of nice. Winding way. Draw. There's our land. So we're going to play the Putrid Goblin pass. Theoretically, if our opponent doesn't murder us here, we do have it. Let's see what they revealed to the Winding Way. Nothing. It was just four lands. All right, let's play the Prospector. I mean, they could have something like Dispel here. 
And I shouldn't have opened up my fat mouth. Ah, uh, prohibit. Yep. Get punished, Bryant. Pass the turn. Okay. Another mole drifter. Very nervous. All right, so we drew another land. I think I'm just going to pass and then Deadly Dispute on their end step. That way I'm not playing into their tricks here. Because then they're tapping mana on their turn instead of on mine. Sure. It just feels like they have a lot of interaction based on how this game has played out so far. Let's Deadly Dispute away the Chrome Star. And maybe I shouldn't have boarded out the Duras in hindsight. Okay. I wasn't expecting them to be on blue walls for what it's worth. Well, the blue that I, I saw, I would have expected to be the uh, freed from the real, not, you know, prohibits and mold drifters and secret doors. Hmm. All right, I think I'm going to go get, uh, what is it called? Sparksmith here. Stack this for a red. Stack the matron, Sparksmith. Just start shooting down their walls. Three mana, what are you doing? Lose focus, okay. This is a lot of counter spells, so I think if there is a game three, I will bring those back in. Rift of Phantasms for X being Guardian. They played another Caretaker, okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to flashback looting. This card, one ball spring, I think. And I'm going to sack this prospect or this putrid goblin just to play Ecker Wellspring. Like, that goblin isn't going to do anything for us anymore. So let's just try to get ahead and win this game. All right. So we know that they have the Axe Bane. They chose not to play it last turn. Here it is. And they have three available mana. So it's sort of now or never for us, I think. Let's Deadly Dispute. So this is going to end up costing me one mana in the long run. There's the first day. Okay. Let's play first day class. Get the introduction, I suppose. Okay. Future Goblin. I feel like there's going to be a trick, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, so it appears that we have infinite mana. Clicking through. Okay. Roughly infinite mana. Does my munitions resolve? It does. Okay. So I just have to go through and click. And our opponent conceded. So we got the 4 1. That was not a bad league. Uh, what was our loss again? Skeptic. Mono blue fairies. That's what it was. Okay, so this deck list seemed pretty good to me. I was terrified of my life against the, uh, out of my life, I should say, against the Prismatic Strands. I really think that you probably want at least one Flaring Pain in the board, but I might not be understanding a crucial concept uh, to beat it. So I could just be wrong, but it seems like something you'd like. I'm not quite sure. Or I wonder if, like, maybe you could switch the Invokers. I think the black one makes you lose 5 life, or one of the recent black ones make you lose 5 life. But it, now that I'm thinking about it, it's definitely not a goblin. So I'll, I'll shut up. That that can't be correct. Um, but I just wish that there was a way of beating Prismatic Strands, because I feel like that made the matchup against the Boros deck more difficult. And then against Mono Blue, uh, I don't know, maybe more Kark Clan Shamans? Um... It just seems like a lot of our options are sort of expensive between like the Pyromantics, a Braid, Cast Down, this Mass Vandal. Uh, Mass Vandal, I won't lie, it, maybe I don't understand why it's good, 
like yes sir moves your opponent's bridges but it just seemed not great to me even in that matchup i could be wrong entirely possible uh i am not a deck expert so i trust hamuda who took second place with this very list thanks for watching keep storming have a great day hey brand cook here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below if you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.